Hello, this is Natasha Astara and I thought I'd come back to my daily um, clearing for empaths, my daily help messages if you're an empathic person. Um, I'm founder of Earth Mother Star Child and I work with indigos, indigo adults, indigo children, um, earth angels, star seeds, elementals and I'm very empathic, sensitive people. This has been part of my work for many, many years and was part of my acupuncture practice where I found that I was dealing with a lot of anxiety, depression, sort of um, nervous system issues and, and also dealing with very, very sensitive people. So one of my goals here is to help, if you are a very sensitive person, is to help give you ways to find um, to cope coping strategies, find ways to cope with living in the world, to cope with any situation you might be in, and also to give you the best ways, the best little techniques that you can use every day to help you thrive and bring your really wonderful, joyous energy through into the world. So today is about getting into alignment. So I talk about being in alignment quite a lot and I think it's been one of my goals probably for at least the last decade um, but more much more so in the last two to three years this idea that when we're in alignment with who we are then things seem to work out for us it's much easier it's um, things seem to happen that seem to work for us obstacles are removed um, we have more clarity about who we are we, what we want to do, how to do it, and it also comes through much easier to actually make it happen. So this is why it's important. So when I think about being in alignment, it's like all my energy is flowing in the same direction, and that's the, the right direction for me. There's a heart connection, so I'm in contact with my heart and my feelings, and there's a clarity in my mind. So my mind has the ability to really vision for me what my soul wants, which is coming through my heart. So being in alignment is really important because it means that I can make decisions from a place of clarity and really knowing who I am. I'm like really rooted in myself. So it means I will be less inclined to get distracted or swayed by other people or situations and I will have less obstacles coming at me um, because sometimes you can wake up on a day and just not feel right, feel like your energy is all over the place and that then sets off a day which may be full of obstacles and trickiness. So we don't want that because as an empath anything that requires us to use more of our energy to process then actually we become exhausted and we do not need that, we're going to overwhelm. So the more we can streamline our energy to just do the things we want it to do and move in the direction of, you know, that that our actual soul wants us to move in, then the easier this becomes. So when I talk about alignment, I want all my energy flowing in the right direction. I also think about my chakras being um, bright and colourful and not cloudy or blocked or things being attached into them and I also think about the quantum field because that is the new level if you're moving into the fifth dimension we're working within a, a diamond light vehicle, a Merkaba, a Metatron's cube structure where our energy um, is opening and it's more held in our own energy matrix. I think it's a safer place to work as a sensitive person um, and if you're a very high vibrational soul, which um, many of the people I work with are, then it just means that you can really incarnate higher dimensional energies into this earth plane, which is actually where your soul is more comfortable in being. So that's all good. So when I'm so this is how I would get into alignment when I wake up in the morning. Firstly, I would really encourage you to have a daily practice. So when I wake up in the morning, I usually ground myself by putting my feet on the ground and imagining a grounding cord going all the way down through my feet, from my heart, down into the new earth grid. 
so it has to be the new earth matrix and not the old one um, because the old one is too toxic for us now so once you imagine it going all the way through you feel that connection then you imagine the energy coming back up as well nourishing you like your roots from your, through your feet up back into your heart and then I send another cord upwards to my higher self my also my star family and my higher self going all the way up to reconnect with that if it's lost connection at any point in the night so I can often feel that energetic jolt when that clicks in and then I'll also be drawing energy down from that so that it comes back into my head with my heart so I'm being realigned with my star energy and my earth energy so that brings up with it a lot of information too if there's been any upgrades within the night or you know, anything that's going on I'll get a realignment so then as that energy is flowing through my energetic grid I will look at the chakra system so often I'll go through from my root chakra the red chakra I'll imagine the red colours, red going through that area and then I'll go up to the orange, imagining orange going through the area and then the yellow, yellow colour going through and going up to the heart with the green and then up again to the blue and then to the indigo in the third eye and to the crown on the, um, the, the violet colour. I was about to say magenta. Um, but those colours may not resonate with you, so just go with the colours that are appropriate for you because some people have moved into a different set of colours, the fifth dimension colours, and they are because of the nature of your soul and your energetic makeup, your you may have your own colours. And if that's happening, you go with it because you know much better than me. So I will just make sure my colours, whatever they are, are very bright and clear and any murkiness or darkness or attachments or whatever, I will just disconnect or ask for help from my angels to disconnect them. And I will see that going all the way up and I will also bring in other colours like I mentioned magenta, um, that's often the colour I work with just to go around my space. So once I've done all that, which actually has taken a long time to explain it, but actually if you're doing it mentally, you are refocusing, you, you don't have to um, take that long. Um, then um, often I'll write my intentions for the day if you want to do this, because this helps focus your mental energy. So I'll write down maybe three things that I want for the day, like this can be practical, but often it's more... Um, you know, like I want a, a nice, clear, focused day to channel my work. Or I would like friendly, happy people, sunshine, warmth and lots of love. You know, or, so you refocus your day into what you want. If you want um, swift communication with someone, then any sort of words that bring in clarity, nice, clear words. And you can write them down. I always have a pad, I write them down because this brings the focus into the physical. So once you've set that intention, you might want to just go and have breakfast or something, I don't know. But at some point during the day, I will open my quantum field. Now, this it takes a little bit more work to get used to, but you're already plugged into your earth grid. So you do it with your feet on the floor and you imagine opening up your Merkaba, your Metatron's cube that's around your body in an anti-clockwise motion so that it spins very fast around you. And it helps, I do it so that it comes vortexing through the central pillar of my energetic system where my chakras are and I, it helps to push out any energy that is no longer required. And it also creates a very fast spinning energy to protect me from the outside world and the, it enhances my vibration as well. So that means that I can feel more comfortable if I'm in a little bubble of my own vibration than having to deal with other people's energy or environmental energy um, from all around me um, all the time. So it gives me a buffer zone. Now for empaths, that buffer zone is just absolutely vital because it's, it's what people don't realise about being empathic is 
you, you know, you might, let's say you go to work, you do the same job as someone else, but actually you're using about 10 times the amount of energy because you are doing your job and you're also managing your own energy system from the environment you're working in, the your neighbour across the road, people you're talking to by email or on the phone, you know, um, the food you're eating. Oh my goodness, because you're, you're so sensitive, you're just burning up all that energy trying to manage and balance within you your own equilibrium. So the energy that you hold, the vibration that you hold, with the, and you're trying to balance it with the vibration of the outside world that's coming in. So I have talked about this before, but you are being influenced vibrationally um, by the outside world, and but you are also influencing the outside world with your vibration. So I just find working within the quantum field, it really helps you to maintain your own vibration and radiate out your positiveness, your positive soul frequency to the outside world rather than you being completely hampered by the outside world so that you can't remember who you are anymore. So quantum field work is really important and I would definitely put that on your list for um, a daily practice. So the other things I'd like you to do, I'm just coming to the end, we've got a few minutes left, is to really spend the day listening to yourself, listening to your intuition. At any point your intuition says, go there, do this, don't do that, don't go here, then it's really important that you just um, listen to it. This is going to become more and more and more and more important. And one of the biggest things, one of the main um, times that I remember listening to my intuition was in London when we had the... Um, the bombings, I can't even remember what year it is now, um, 2000 and something, and I was about to go to work and I was told very intuitively, no, go, do not get on the tube, go to um, sit in St Paul's Cathedral in the crypt, and I was like, okay, but I've got to go to work, <laughs> um, but I listened to it, I did it, and that I would, would have probably been in the area where the, the tube was bombed, so all I'm saying to you is you Listen to your intuition and it will always guide you to the right place. And this is something, if you are an empath, you're feeling based, you're, you're very hyper aware, you're very sensitive. So listen to your intuition and understand that what is right for you may not be right for someone else and what is right for them may not be right for you. So just listen to yourself. Do not be um, convinced or persuaded by others who might feel they know better. Just really listen and tune into your own self. You have an amazing instrument called your body and your mind and your energy system is incredibly designed and it's telling you all the time about how to be healthy, how to keep yourself safe and leading you to wellness and well-being. Okay, so this also um, is important when you're choosing every day who you spend time with and where you spend time. So choosing who you spend time with is very important. If people are draining your energy or you don't feel right after being with them, then choose a better option. This can be harder when we're looking at people we love or, you know, partnerships or friendships, or but it's really important to protect your energy or use Find ways to balance your energy so it won't be drained of that person. And working within the quantum field is a really great way of, of doing that. You'll find it easier to be with people and spend time without being drained or without feeling like you've had a whole load of energy dumped on you. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. That's all I've got time for. And I want you to keep you all safe and wish you well for the next um, six weeks. And I will be doing these daily podcasts. Um, so tune in. If you want to work with me, my website is www.earthmotherstarchild.co.uk and I'm very used to working with empaths and sensitive people and I look forward to hearing from you. Namaste. Blessings. Bye.